graduates, this is not how I'd hoped to be addressing you, and I'm sure no one imagined this as we started our final semester. I wish we were celebrating commencement weekend in the Cole Center in Camp Randall, surrounded by thousands of caps and gowns with our friends and families watching in the stands. I wish we were able to enjoy our final weeks together on the Terrace, Bascom Hill, and State Street. But regardless of where each of us is right now and where we've spent the past weeks, we are all graduating today as Badgers, and we have a lot to celebrate. What matters the most, the friendships and memories created, the degrees we've earned and how we've grown as world citizens, remains unscathed. Let's not forget just how good we have it. I'm grateful for three and a half years on our beautiful campus, 27 home football game days, four crazy Madison Halloweens, three times attending a certain event, and more scoops of Babcock ice cream than I care to admit to. I'm grateful for professors that both challenged my worldview and managed to make two months of coursework digital on a week's notice. Not a small task for my hip-hop class. I hope you'll all take some time to reflect on the pieces of your Wisconsin experience that you are most thankful for. I know it may seem more bitter than sweet in our current circumstances. But on the bright side, we've got the rest of our lives ahead of us to wear the label Badger alum with pride. That future starts now on Wisconsin. Welcome Badgers to the 167th spring commencement of the University of Wisconsin at Madison. This ceremony is very different from the one we planned for. I had hoped to be celebrating with you in person with your proud families and friends all in attendance. I promise you that once it's safe to gather in large crowds, we will mark this milestone with an in-person event here on campus to which you are all invited. I hope you'll be there. You have completed your degree in the middle of a life-threatening pandemic that has disrupted every aspect of life. Your resilience and adaptability deserves appreciation. I know it hasn't been easy. Very few of you dreamed of spending your final semester back at your parents' house or locked in your apartment. Some of you have family members who have lost jobs or whose jobs are essential and you worry about their safety. Some of you have faced the loss of family and friends and all of you have been socially isolated from your community. The friends and classmates, teachers and advisors who have made this place your home. I hope you have wonderful memories of your time at UW. Popcorn and brats and live music on the terrace, biking down the lakeshore path, building igloos when Madison got colder than the Antarctica, and cheering for our marching band, for Bucky, and for our top-ranked sports teams. The class of 2020 has helped us set new records for public service. You voted in far higher numbers than your peers at other schools and helped make UW-Madison the number one school in the nation for Peace Corps volunteers. When the coronavirus forced us to close the campus, you persevered. You adapted quickly to online learning and to a world where we all stayed indoors while watching spring arrive outside. I wanna thank you for the way you've handled this and to thank the family and friends who have helped you through. Today, 7,473 of you will receive bachelor's degrees and 2,134 of you will receive graduate degrees. The deans, the provost, the faculty and I are deeply proud of the work you have done to reach this day and inspired by so many of you. The doctoral candidates who had to hold their oral exams virtually, the masters of fine arts and other students in the performing arts, fashion design, and other degree programs that typically culminate in live performances that had to be called off. The education students who helped reach out to parents who suddenly found themselves homeschooling their children, and the undergraduates and graduate students earning degrees in dozens of other fields who are using their knowledge to help others as they watch their own plans for the future become less and less certain. Class of 2020, we are proud of all of you. But I wanna give special recognition to our graduates who will be joining the front lines in the fight against the coronavirus. The public health and biological scientists with the skills to create the forecasting models that help predict what the virus will do next. The engineers with the skills to design personal protective equipment the social workers and psychologists trained to address trauma, the students earning degrees from our School of Veterinary Medicine, where UW researchers are working around the clock to develop a coronavirus vaccine, the pharmacy students who figured out how to mass produce hand sanitizers to address critical shortages. And finally, 
the graduates of the School of Nursing and the new doctors of medicine who are already caring for patients and who will continue to put their own health on the line to save others. You are all graduating into a world that looks very different from the one you planned for. Just as wars and terrorist attacks shaped your parents' and grandparents' generation, this pandemic will shape yours. I'm not going to sugarcoat the challenges. This will be hard for some of you. Some of you will face a longer job search than you expected. Some of you will face personal pain from unexpected family loss. And some of you will end up doing very different things next year than you might have expected. But when we are past this crisis, you will also see some new opportunities. Opportunities to re-engage the economy, to rebuild personal connections, and to figure out how to live together in ways that reduce the threat of future pandemics. Our world will change permanently because of this global shared experience. Your diploma from the University of Wisconsin is your ticket to be part of that change. And no matter what direction your work takes you, I hope you will carry with you a commitment to what we call the Wisconsin idea, a commitment to use our knowledge, skills, and innovative ideas in ways that improve people's lives. Graduates, you come from all over the state of Wisconsin, all over the United States, and all over the world. To all of you, from Shanghai, China, to New York City, to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and every point in between, thank you for being part of our Big Badger family. Please stay healthy and safe in the near future. One day soon, campus will reopen and we'll gather to celebrate in person. The senior class officers will continue to work with us to plan that event. But until then, congratulations, class of 2020, and on Wisconsin. Hi, I'm James Patterson, and you're the wonderful class of 2020. You know, I love this gown. I love it. Uh, the university expects me to give it back, but I think I'm going to hold on to it until the shelter in place is over. Um, I know you were hoping that we'd meet at Camp Randall. Me too. I love Camp Randall. But here I am in the kitchen at Camp Patterson. You know, the Patterson family is going through what you're going through right now. Our son, Jack, was supposed to graduate from Brown next week. Brown, good school, not much of a football team. Here's what Jack and I talk about a lot. Worrying, probably doesn't help. Complaining, doesn't help. Plus, everybody hates complainers. Watching CNN or Fox News all day, definitely doesn't help. Hey, it's hard right now but it's been hard before. When I graduated from college, the war in Vietnam was raging. There was a draft and that sucked. When my dad graduated, he got shipped off to Europe and World War II. So here we are at camp, well, camp your house. The job market is probably going to be tricky. I'd like to suggest persistence and resilience. Here's an example of persistence and resilience, kind of a made up job interview. Hi, I'm Jenny Smith. I'm a recent Wisconsin graduate. We're not hiring. A week passes. Hi, I'm Jenny Smith. Not hiring. Another week goes by. Hi, I'm still Jenny Smith. Still not hiring. The following week. Hi, I'm, oh, hi, Jenny Smith, Wisconsin graduate. This is your lucky day and your lucky day will come. Okay, I have to get this off my chest. I didn't go to Wisconsin. My wife Sue did. My wife's parents did. All of Sue's aunts and uncles, cousins, neighbors, friends, enemies, they all went. They're all badgers. Before I married Sue, I had to sign a badger prenup. I had no idea what I was signing. Since we've been married, I've had to watch every single Badger football game, every Badger basketball game, every Badger volleyball game, swim meet, cross country meet, table tennis match. I've eaten over 50 different flavors of Babcock ice cream. We now eat brats for Thanksgiving and Christmas dinner. 
I have a one breakfast free for every 10 card at Mickey's Dairy Bar. I really do. Our only son was baptized Bucky. I refuse to talk to anyone who attended Michigan or even roots for Michigan. That includes one of my sisters. I tell stories for a living, so let me tell you a couple of stories. This one is about achieving some kind of balance in your life, and that's never been more important. Imagine life is as a game in which you're juggling five balls in the air. You name the balls work, family, health, friends, and spirit, and somehow you're keeping all those balls in the air. Hopefully you come to understand that work is a rubber ball. If you drop it, or if you can't find a job right away, that rubber ball will bounce back. But the other four balls, family, health, friends, and spirit are made of glass. If you drop one of them, they will be irrevocably scuffed, marked, nicked, damaged, or even shattered. They will never be the same. And once you understand that, maybe, just maybe, you strive for more balance in your life. That's the way it's worked for me. Tough breaks happen in life, they just do. They're happening to all you guys right now. When I was in my early 30s, I was in love with a woman named Jane Hall Blanchard. One Saturday morning, Jane and I went to breakfast. Then we stopped at the post office on Broadway in New York City. Jane suddenly fell to the floor. We both thought she was dying. We found out that Jane had an inoperable brain tumor and about a year to live. Jane was 34, I was 32. At that point, we told one another a story. It's a powerful story for anyone facing the loss of a loved one. The story, the point of view that Jane and I took was this. We said to ourselves, isn't it lucky that you didn't die that day in the post office? And we have today to take this beautiful walk or go and look at the Hudson River or go out with our best friends. And that story made the next year incredibly precious for both of us. All of us know that we're dying, but suddenly Jane and I really knew and we really understood it. And we lived our lives like that. Live your lives like that. Somebody wise, probably Gandhi said, live as if you were going to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. That's pretty cool. So you're probably gonna have some free time on your hands. Your badgers use the time wisely. Read all those books you didn't have time for in college. Think things through. I know you thought a lot about this, but here's what finding the right career is all about. Two steps. Step one, what are you really passionate about? Step two, what are you pretty good at? If those two steps don't work, then get a damn job like the rest of us. Okay, here's the good news, and this is very good news. You have all received a superior education here. Not in my kitchen, at Wisconsin. There's never been a better time to make use of everything you learned in school. You are prepared for this. You're ready. You are the best and you are the brightest. Go, you beautiful Badgers. Go, Badgers. On Wisconsin. Love you. And remember this, no one will ever forget the class of 2020. My fellow graduates. Well, here we are. Bascom Hall, room 260. Or maybe in your case, your living room with your parents much closer than you ever expected them to be on this day. At the risk of sounding cliche, I do not think this is where any of us expected to be. Undergraduates are joined by masters and PhD candidates. We are together 
and apart, with no Camp Randall fanfare, no beers to shotgun with your roommates before rushing off to greet your grandparents, no crowds to fight to get the best photos on Bascom Hill, no tears rushing down your face as you link arms with your fellow Badgers to sing varsity one last time as a student. Well, I'm sure there will still be tears. But perhaps all that we lost is a perfect reminder of all that we have to be grateful for and everything we have to be proud of because everything that has been taken away from us this year and I know that we have lost a lot, cannot take away from the fact that we made it. We are graduating today. All of us survived trudging up Bascom with three layers of winter clothes on and 15 pounds of books in our backpacks on the brink of cardiac arrest. All of us survived a 24-hour period where all we consumed was black coffee. All of us survived BSing a 10-page research paper the day it was due. But all jokes aside, Badgers have overcome some incredible hurdles to make it here today. Some have felt unwelcome on a campus that struggles to support diversity. Some have battled mental health problems to the point of almost giving up. Some have navigated the unknown as first-generation college students. College is not easy, and our achievements that got us here today deserve the highest recognition and praise. We have broken down barriers together. We have cried together. We have fought for a better world we want to live in together. And yeah, Today, we do not get to turn our tassels together on the field in Camp Randall. As I stand here today, nearly alone in a sterilized room, I am filled with emotion. It is hard for me to remind myself to be proud of my accomplishments when all I want to do is cry. But as I look to the future, I know that there is one lesson I will take from this experience that gives me hope. This has shown me that you never know when something is going to be your last. Some of you may have heard of a little show called The Office, and I think Andy said it best with, I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you actually left them. I did not know when I was sitting in my last college lecture. I did not know when I left Memorial Library that it would be my last time blankly staring at my computer for four hours with my best friend by my side. I did not know that it was my last trek up Bascom as I desperately gasped for air. And I did not know when I was in my last moment on campus as a Badger with my fellow students. All of these moments are what make today so hard. But all of these moments are what made our time at the University of Wisconsin-Madison so phenomenal. They truly are the good old days. So next time I find myself in a little moment, like sharing a pitcher of beer on the terrace with my friends after the quarantine is lifted, or hugging my grandparents, or being crammed through the gates of Camp Randall to attend my first football game as an alumna, I'll know that those little moments are actually big moments. I will enjoy their magnitude as blessings that are not guaranteed. No pandemic can take away the pride you deserve to feel today. We are here, we are badgers, and we are graduating. Congratulations, class of 2020. We did it. I'm pleased to acknowledge those bachelor's degree candidates who have distinguished themselves scholastically by ranking in the top 20% of their school or college or by participating in the honors program. If we were together in person today, you would see them attired with honor stoles, solid cardinal red or white with red chevrons. 
On behalf of the faculty, I am honored to recognize their achievements. Chancellor Blank, it is my honor to present the candidates for the degrees Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Musical Arts, and Master of Fine Arts. These scholars have devoted significant time to graduate study and research. In addition, they have defended theses or presented exhibitions that have been accepted by faculty committees as substantial contributions signifying scholarly or professional achievement in their respective fields. They are presented for the highest academic recognition in their fields given by the university, the degree Doctor of Philosophy, Doctor of Musical Arts, or Master of Fine Arts. It is also my honor to present the candidates for master's degrees in their respective fields, Master of Accountancy, Master of Arts, Master of Business Administration, Master of Engineering, Master of International Public Affairs, Master of Music, Master of Professional French Studies, Master of Public Affairs, Master of Science, Master of Social Work. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the graduate school, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my honor to present the candidates for the degrees Doctor of Medicine, Doctor of Physical Therapy, Master of Genetic Counselor Studies, Master of Physician Assistant Studies, and Master of Public Health. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Medicine and Public Health, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my distinct honor to present the candidates for the degrees Doctor of Juridical Science, Juris Doctor, and Master of Laws. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective courses of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the law school, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my distinct honor to present the candidates for the degree Doctor of Veterinary Medicine. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of the respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Veterinary Medicine, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my distinct honor to present the candidates for the degree Doctor of Nursing Practice. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Nursing, I present these candidates for degrees. It is also my honor to present the candidates for the following bachelor degree in the School of Nursing. Bachelor of Science, Nursing. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Nursing, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my distinct honor to present the candidates for the degree Doctor of Pharmacy. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Pharmacy, I present these candidates for degrees. It is also my honor to present the candidates for the following bachelor's degrees in the School of Pharmacy. Bachelor of Science, Pharmaceutical Sciences, and the Bachelor of Science, Pharmacology and Toxicology. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Pharmacy, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my distinct honor to present the candidates for the degree Doctor of Occupational Therapy. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Education, I present these candidates for degrees. It's also my honor to present the candidates for the following bachelor's degrees in the School of Education. Bachelor of Fine Arts, 
Bachelor of Science Art, Bachelor of Science Art Education, Bachelor of Science Athletic Training, Bachelor of Science Dance, Bachelor of Science Education, Bachelor of Science Education Studies, Bachelor of Science Health Promotion and Health Equity, Bachelor of Science Kinesiology, Bachelor of Science Physical Education, Bachelor of Science Rehabilitation Psychology, Bachelor of Science Theater and Drama. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Education, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my distinct honor to present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Audiology. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Letters and Science, I present these candidates for degrees. It is also my honor to present the candidates for the following bachelor's degrees in the College of Letters and Science. Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Arts Journalism, Bachelor of Landscape Architecture, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science, Applied Mathematics, Engineering, and Physics. Bachelor of Science, Journalism. Bachelor of Science, Social Work. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Letters and Science, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my distinct honor to present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science, Agricultural Business Management, Bachelor of Science, Biological Systems Engineering, Bachelor of Science, Landscape Architecture, and Bachelor of Science, Nutrition and Dietetics. These scholars have successfully completed their requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Agricultural and Life Sciences, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my distinct honor to present the candidates for the degree Bachelor of Business Administration. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Business, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my distinct honor to present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the College of Engineering. Bachelor of Naval Science, Bachelor of Science Biomedical Engineering, Bachelor of Science Chemical Engineering, Bachelor of Science Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science Computer Engineering, Bachelor of Science Electrical Engineering, Bachelor of Science Engineering Mechanics, Bachelor of Science Engineering Physics, Bachelor of Science Geological Engineering, Bachelor of Science Industrial Engineering, Bachelor of Science Material Science and Engineering, Bachelor of Science Mechanical Engineering, Bachelor of Science Nuclear Engineering. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the College of Engineering, I present these candidates for degrees. Chancellor Blank, it is my distinct honor to present the candidates for bachelor's degrees in the School of Human Ecology, Bachelor of Science, Community and Nonprofit Leadership, Bachelor of Science, Human Development and Family Studies, Bachelor of Science, Human Ecology, Bachelor of Science, Interior Architecture, Bachelor of Science, Personal Finance, Bachelor of Science, Retailing and Consumer Behavior, Bachelor of Science, Textiles and Fashion Design. These scholars have successfully completed the requirements of their respective course of study. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Human Ecology, I present these candidates for degrees. Thank you to all of the deans for presenting their candidates for degrees. I respond with enthusiasm. On the recommendation of the faculty of the University of Wisconsin in Madison, and under the authority granted by the University of Wisconsin System Board of Regents, each student will be admitted to the degree appropriate to the course of study you have completed. Congratulations to the class of 2020. 
Class of 2020, you have arrived at an important milestone, the moment when you transition from students to alumni. Tradition dictates that before degree conferral, candidates will wear their tassels on the right side of the mortar board. After commencement, to symbolize your new status as graduates, your tassel is worn on the left. This is the time for graduates, as a symbolic gesture, to move their tassels. Congratulations to all of our graduates, and thank you to the family members and the friends whose support and encouragement made this proud day possible. Best wishes to all, stay healthy, and on Wisconsin. To conclude our celebration, please join in singing Varsity. Varsity.